And most people don't realize that every drop of water of, in the Delaware River is reused 20 times and is fully allocated. So between what we as humans and natural wildlife need as water, what agriculture needs to grow crops, and what industry needs to provide for their services, if water becomes short, the cost of living goes up. So water becomes a means of discussing how humans retain quality of life. The river is a living ecosystem that needs to thrive. And when it thrives, our human communities also will thrive in terms of our personal health, in terms of clean drinking water, in terms of a healthy economy, in terms of quality of life and peace of mind, and the pure enjoyment of being out there in a sound, healthy ecosystem. Welcome to Titatinny country. My name is Ruth Jones. I'm the owner of Kitty Kitty Canoes. The river is my playmate, my playground, and my best friend. It always was and it always will be. So I hope you enjoy the river. On a super busy day in the summer months, we put several thousand people in. We clean up 70 miles of river in three days with three to 500 people. And we've done it for 14 years. We've retrieved 6,411 tires and 232 tons of trash. Now just imagine if that were in the river here, alongside of us, what would it look like? Who would want to paddle down this river? I've been fishing for shad for 27 years. Uh, they're very streamlined fish and a very, very sporty fighter. There is a lot of emphasis on, on, on the sport fishing of it. It really brings a lot of people to the river, and that's what helps the economy in local areas. We had a decline of, of uh, shad in the Delaware River uh, because of the clean water that was uh, polluted. The fish wouldn't, wouldn't come through it because of the uh, lack of oxygenated water. Clean Water Act in the 1970s, the river started cleaning up and, and our fish started coming back. I've done many a different job and always been called back to the water. And it's not a job, it's an adventure. There's so much out there you just don't even know the jellyfish glowing and all the little minute organisms bumping into each other, they glow. and It's just awesome. I've seen whales out here in the bay jump up right beside the boat 30 feet away and to see them come up and slide right down to the water like a zipper, never even make a ripple. So we're kind of like right there hand in hand. We watch the sunrise come up every morning and watch it go down. and Those things are priceless. You've got a major highway that runs through the state of Delaware with a lot of truck traffic on it, but it pales in comparison to the amount of container traffic that moves up and down the Delaware Bay. Whether it be containers that carry cars, or whether it carry vegetables and fruit, goods and services that feed all the communities further up, um, all use the same waterway. If you have high water quality, that means humans are doing things correctly, sustainably. And what we then can have is the same quality of life into the future. Once your water degrades, you, you basically lose it completely. We've got to recognize that the river is a living ecosystem and is an equal member of our community. And we have to protect this river the same way we protect every other member of our human community.